y'all doing? How y'all doing on this Super Sunday? I don't know about y'all. Did y'all anybody took the time to watch like um the All Star Game? I don't know, man. NBA um sports um with this Corona stuff, you know, life haven't been the same. It haven't been normal. So to me, it's a lot of stuff I don't even try to get caught up into, man. It's like I be focused on other things. Hey, but anyway, guess what? You got to find something to keep entertained about. Um, even right now, anybody saw Coming to America? Coming to America, Amazon Prime. I listened to some of the views. Some people say it was a good. Some people say it was, you know, corny. I don't know. I didn't get a chance to watch it. You know, my mind been elsewhere. Hey, but anyway, thank you for joining me. What's up? What's up, man? How you doing? Gene, how you doing, man? What's up, fam? How you doing? Gino, how you doing, Gino? Um, listen, thank y'all for joining in, man. Hey, do y'all check out my latest, um, do y'all check out, much respect, Joan Allen, how you doing? Natasha, how you doing? Do y'all check out my latest, um, video on YouTube, um, Insta on YouTube? I put it out, I put it out, I put the latest one out, and what I did is I spoke about, the, I did a review on the Biggie Smalls, like I got a story to tell. Well, check it out, folks. Um, Richard Bell, what's going on, man? How you doing, man? Thanks for joining me, thanks for joining me, man. Clay, allow greatness. Thank you, man. Respect to you too, man. And you know what? Like I say, uh, the funny part about it is this. When I got somebody DM me and asked me, Robert, what's going on, man? What's up? Somebody DM me and they asked me, they said, look, man, um, what can you tell me about iGuard on a Biggie Small documentary that they was talking about? So even right, you know, when I'm listening to it, I'm an iGuard. People got to understand, like, the name iGuard. You got so many individuals that's out there that name iGuard. Uh oh, hey, thank you, thank you. 30,000, 30,000, 30,000 subscribers. Thank each and every one of you that took the time to subscribe to my page. But anyway, like I said, you got goody two shoes. Love you, baby girl. Yeah, hit that like button, hit that like button. Hey, but like, um, anyway, I did a review on that because somebody hit me up. And to me, that's the best thing. When somebody hits you up, you try to, you can't respond to everybody that hits you up, but you try to respond to as much people as possible. Carlos, what's going on? So when they hit me up and asked me about eye guard, and I look at it, you got so many different eye guards, you got so many different born, you got so many different divine, you got so many different understanding, you got so many different supreme, and all the five boroughs or whatever. So they asked me about eye guard. I'm like eye guard, you know, and I didn't know the guy Carl Baymore went Baysmore went by the name eye guard. I didn't know that. So even right now, until I was able to watch the documentary and I was able to peep that, then that's when oh, I don't know. I didn't know him as Igar. I knew him as Carl Bazemore. And I was able to elaborate. Like I told you, you, you do, I don't know everybody. You can't know everybody. You know? And even right now, allow greatness. I learned a lot from you, Glaze. Hey, thank you. That's what it's all about, man. This channel is this is my ministry, man. And what I try to do is I try to be as open-hearted and free as possible. And I try to put it out there. It's like I don't this is my ministry. And I'm gonna talk about the good, I'm gonna talk about the bad, I'm gonna talk about the ugly, I'm gonna talk about everything that's out there. Why? Because once again, I want to share this experience to get people to understand, man, listen, you don't have to be a test dummy. You know, what I do is and what I try to do is when I talk to you, add value. If I can't add value in my conversation talking to y'all, hey, right now, Wiz, y'all don't need to be listening to me. What's up, man? Cashville, make it in the house. What's up, man? How you doing? You know, right now, if I can't add value, if people can't add value, if they can't add empowerment, if they can't add encouragement, you know what? Your book is outstanding. Yes, your input on the big, I got a story to tell. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Period. MD3, what's up, brother? How you doing? Aaron Age, it take real man change. Much respect. Yeah, man, like I told you, man, it took pain, man. It took trial and tribulation. I hit the, I hit the worst part, uh, you know, the, the, the rock bottom. You know what? Once you hit rock bottom, guess what? You can't go nothing but up, man. When you hit rock bottom, all you can do is go up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up, you know? Aaron Green, Glaze, who do you have to look over your shoulder in 2021? You know what? Nobody, man. You know what? Like I said, I never, don't get me wrong because it's a habit, but I never look over my shoulder. For what? You know? Uh, was Biggie really putting in work on Fulton? You know what? Like I say, I wasn't even around doing that. And Biggie was younger than us. So the difference, it wasn't the point about it being, you know, everybody can put in work. But to me, what type of work they was putting in, I don't know. I couldn't even tell you that because I was not around. I was incarcerated during that period of time. And you got to remember, like, I think Biggie and them probably like, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 years younger. Bruce Clint, I did not have a place to go until I got here. Wizard talk, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Um, And like I told you right now, was anybody got any suggestion? 
anybody got any story that I can help you with, let me know. Send in love from West Virginia. Melanie Barnett, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, but like I told you right now, Wiz, with that piece, what I try to do is I try to do my homework. And even right now, like I said, I knew Carl Bazemore. I didn't know his nephew. And the difference is right now, when you say, why would he go, you know what I'm saying, shoot and murder his nephew? That's deep. Okay, my MD3 does sniper. Aaron Age, are you from New Orleans? Okay. Hey, what's up, Yusuf? Assalamu alaikum, my brother. If you back, if you look back, you turn into the pillar of salt. Wow, that's deep, Joan. You know what? But you know, to me, like, what would get a guy? What would get someone to put on a hoodie? Normally, when somebody put on a hoodie, you know what that means? They up to no good. Either they cold. Once we, when we was younger, and we wear a hoodie. Guess what? We coming. We coming. That's the difference. So when you put a hoodie on, guess what happened is you ready. So right now, from my understanding, he put the hoodie on and went inside the store. And right now was he cut loose, shot his nephew. And just so happened, he thought it was going to be, you know, go in there, shoot his nephew. That was it. But the guys, the people that work in the store, they came after him and shot him. So they didn't know right now who he was at the time. Probably if they knew that was him, they probably wouldn't even went after him because they know him. Like they wouldn't, they scratching their head, they wouldn't be able to figure it out. So the difference right now, like you say, people, when people put on a hood, either it's cold or guess what, man? They coming for you. They coming for you. Come on. This is right now. You can't tell who this is. You know, with my hoodie on, you can't tell this is Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hey, folks, so that's the difference. So here it is. It wasn't until during the crime scene. And, you know, I'm talking about the investigator came along. And they pull the hood off. They was able to determine who he was. And people like right now, that's a double tragedy. You know, that's a double tragedy. The plan never goes right. That just how even when it's right, it still feel odd. You're right, man. Because there's a lot of foul stuff that I did, I got away with. And you're right. It felt odd. It, felt, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel good at all, man. You know what I'm saying? It did not feel good at all. And what I'm saying, look, folks, hey. Anybody, somebody may mention you, the Baby Sam story. I, I did a piece on Baby Sam, exactly what you want to hear about Baby Sam. You know, Baby Sam was a very, very interesting individual. And right now he got a documentary out, you know, a few years ago. I know it was on Vimeo. So, you know, it's out there. But, you know, exactly what do you want me to speak about in regards to Baby Sam? You know, anybody, like I tell you, share the content of my story. Hit that like button, subscribe. Share the contact. And once again, 30,000 30, subscribers. 30,000 subscribers. To me, like I said, that's a lot, man. Boston checking in. What's up? Anthony Steele. Man of Steele. What's up, man? Thank you for checking in, man. You know, who won the NBA All-Star game? You know, I didn't even pay no mind. I didn't turn on the TV all day. You know, my, you know sometimes you be thinking other things. You know, like what we do is, hey, okay. All right. I don't know what that means. I don't think that's for me. They still playing. All right. They still playing. All right. Um, but like I told you right now, listen, I, I'm working on different things. I got different content working on. I'm working on this guy, Willie Boskett. What do you think about Alpo walking around Fleet and Harlan and being in public? You know what, man? Like I say, Alpo is old man. And right now is guess what? He feel confident that, you know, that's what he can do. Nobody going to say nothing to Alpo, man. You know, everybody talk all that trash behind the internet, behind the keyboard or whatever. Like you said right now, man, you know, sometimes it's a saying, you have to bring ASS to get ASS. So the bottom line is they have to, you know, go after him. They got to come right there in front of him. And the chances are, what the sense of you trying to get somebody and you want them getting gotten? That's the difference. So a lot of times people can talk all this and all that or whatever. You know, like I told you, that man, you know, he, he's free. And he living his dream. And the difference is right now, he's up and down Manhattan. He do what he want to do. And respect, man. He got a lot of things I heard about to happen for him. And you know what? Guess what? That's deep. And, you know, you wish him nothing but well, um, nothing but success. And, hey, I don't have no problem with that. But like I say, hit that like button, subscribe, man. Share the content. Share the content. You know, what y'all want to hear next on my channel? Speak. Glaze, I'm a classic pack. An artist from Queens working with Bimmy. He put me on Glaze, my Instagram class. But yeah, like I said right now, <laughs> every time I talk to Ben, man, I talked to him Friday. He's a point, you know, saying boom. Oh, come on. Did you know Kevin Shaw? Um, Tack Bear? No, I, I don't. You know, it all depends unless he went by another name. Unless he went by another name, you know. And after a while, man, when you get old, man, you don't remember everybody, man. Unless they play a significant role in your life. You don't remember everybody. Unless they play a significant role in your life. 
Oh, Brian gives you motivate me, brother. Hey, thank you, man. That's what it's all about. James, what's up, bro? Did you know female who was dangerous back in the day? You had a lot of females that was dangerous. Um, you had a lot, you know, um, lynch mob. I don't know nothing about the lynch mob, man. Um, Tyrese Grange. I don't know nothing about the lynch mob, you know? Oh, I think that's like what Miss T, you know what I'm saying? That's her area. She probably got more information in regards to those guys than I do, you know? Um, but like I said. Blue Boy from Lower East Side. I don't know much about Blue Boy from Lower East Side. Only did I know that um, allegedly he was responsible for Larry Davis' demise. Talk about the old school mafia dealing with the black gangster. I just finished watching Biggie movie on Netflix. Was good. Respect to you, ladies. Hey, respect to you, man. I got a story to tell, man. That's a powerful story, man. It's a powerful story. You motivate me also, Blaze. Euclid Avenue in the building. Yeah, Euclid, man. Euclid, man. My old stomping ground. And, and, and like you said right now, look at it, man. Do Oli. Um, the Do Oli, Rolling. Look what he did, man. He was a big believer. He was a big believer in um, Biggie. He was big and Biggie up, letting people know, man, Biggie gonna be a star. Um, Kevin Shaw Senior, Co-op City promoter, boat ride. But no, I don't, I don't know him. Co-op City, man. Only thing I remember about Co-op City, man, we used to deliver like you know, what I'm saying flies out there when we was kids, man. You know, at, for the slip company. Z for Zoe, what's up, man? Um, who Tata? Who is Tata? The Tata that be with Jay Z? How do we e? Ha ha. Do we e? Oh, I, I'm confused about that one, man. Uh, what's good, man? How you doing, David Johnson? You ever did work here in Bama? No, I did not. I never did no work in Alabama, man. Mm -mm. Um, but like I say right now, listen, man. Like even as I was watching that documentary, man, that guy, man, he was really pushing big. He was really big, man, man. And the difference is even everybody say like you know, um, Roland, based upon his uncle and their reputation, he did what he wanted to do, man. And so even with that beef leading up to that beef, man, you know what happened? What would cause an uncle? to, you know, kill his nephew, you know what I'm saying, in a local bodega. Any story on young guns? Nah, no young guns. I don't even know who they are. You know, I don't know who the young gun is, you know. But like I say, look, hit that like button, subscribe, man, subscribe. Check out my latest content, man. I got a few stories that's out there. You heard of OG Turtle. Mm, I can't say that I did. I knew a turtle. Um, I knew a turtle, but... Mm, and even right now, like, you know, like, even if I'm thinking about turtle, I'm thinking my cat, young nephew, that, that's what I'm thinking about. Um, hit that like button, folks. Listen, thank y'all for joining in, man. Thank y'all for joining in. Listen, man, get your signed copy of Beyond Lucky, man, the Brian Glaze gift story, a true story of change and redemption. If I can change, anybody can change. I want to know more about Pappy. What do you want to know about Pappy, Tyrese? You know, I just dropped a piece not too long ago in regards to rough. Pappy, right here, man. Um, did you know Scooter and Speedy? I knew Scooter. You know what I'm saying? I knew Scooter. I didn't know Speedy. How much is going for? What's how much? Oh, the book. The book right now is um email me, Brian Gibbs1201 at yahoo.com. Get your signed copy. Who all the OG you know in Brownsville? Man, damn, it's too many of them, man. Um, hey, like I said right now, is um what I'm saying you watch any all-star game. No, I didn't, Dave. I didn't. I didn't turn on TV all day, man. You know, um, I remember being doing time. We used to call the TV the idiot tube, man. When the last time you spoke to Supreme McGriff? I haven't. I haven't. You know what I'm saying? I haven't. True school. You may explain a lot to me and my people had question about them. When we was out there hearing the name way in Boston. Wow. Okay, Anthony Steele, man of steel. You know, um, you know anything about Delroy Uzi Edwards? Delroy Uzi Edwards was nothing nice to be played with, man. Delroy Uzi, Delroy Uzi Edwards was the real deal, man. He was the real deal, you know. Um, ever heard of Boo Bear from Brownsville? No. I, I, you know, I did, I guess, from some of the pictures people putting out there. Guys, in your capacity, always with the tails, okay? I so aren't pure when we let material control us. Hey, man, like I told you right now, even to this day, man, like, people let materialistic thing control them, like, materialistic things is like another form of drug. It's almost as bad as crack, um, heroin. It's always, almost as bad as alcohol. Because once again, people let, you know, I'm talking about materialistic things control them. Please, can you come with the publishing company? Come with what publishing company? What you talking about, man? Um, talk to me as if I was a two-year-old so I can have a complete understanding. 
What's your, what you know about Uzi? Like I said right now, Uzi was the real deal, man. I might do a piece on every on Uzi. You know about Supreme Team from Fort Greene, good brother. Supreme Team, see, people don't understand. It was Puerto Rican Supreme. He wasn't no Supreme Team. It was just Puerto Rican Supreme. So, you know, you got Puerto Rican Supreme and his brother Rap May, so rest in peace. Uh, right now, they used to always, like, you know, be talking about... um. You know, Eric B and Rock Kim used to always be talking about them. And then you got the Supreme team from them saying Queens. Them saying Kenneth McGriff and Princeton no guys or whatever. So you got the, you know, the Supreme team was from Queens, Supreme Magnetic. They wasn't the Supreme team. Okay? Birmingham, Alabama. Hey, Tory Childs, how you doing, man? Salute, man. Salute, 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 salute. Listen, man, check out my latest piece. My latest piece that I dropped. I got a total story to tell. By Biggie Small, his documentary, my review. You got any Brooklyn story about the you know, white York, Mike Z York, off in here about? No, I don't, man. Will you invest in a good enough story? Not necessarily, man. Uh, but yeah, why not, man? Like I tell you right now, it's like to me, I got something on the table now that I'm waiting for this Corona stuff to be over with or whatever. Um, I'm looking into doing my own podcast. Um, you ever heard a uh, murder from Brownsville I had the game room on Blake Avenue? I did not. I'm telling gays, we're always looking backwards, but we need to prepare for the future. You got to be prepared for the future, man. Even right now, man, I'm start looking into Bitcoins. I'm going to start looking into Bitcoins, man. You thought of Fat Cat today? You know, hey, look, Fat Cat, good dude. Maybe from a younger brother like myself. Hey, Fat Cat, good dude, man. You know, hopefully, like right now is, man, they, you know, pro board, you know what I'm saying, for New York State finally release him, man. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. What's going on? 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 What's going on, man? You know what? Um, I might get some information, do a story on his brother. Um, what's his brother name? Um, Knowledge. Knowledge from Fort Greene. Original OG, man. Original OG. Knowledge from Fort Greene. His son just reached out to me. You feel like New York City about to get grimy again like the 80s? Hopefully not, man. Hopefully not. Glaze, I'm from Blake and Miller, man. Hey, that's a rough area, man. Blake and Miller. They don't free. Okay, they don't free the wolf. Because they hate reality. How do I reach out, man? Brian Gibbs, 1201 at yahoo.com. Bitcoin is the next big thing. You know what? Like I told you, man, invest in. Invest into the future, man. Um, George Chang, a fisher from each flat, but I don't know him. Jay-Z from Marcy Project made a Billy. Okay, yeah, he did, man. I am from Sedwick and Sidra. Hey, how you doing, man? Um, but like you say, salute, 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 man. Salute. Polo Sports News Plus. Um, the further we get away from reality, the more, the more the truth is hated. You're right, man. A lot of people don't want it. You know what? People can't understand. They don't want the truth. Hey, Minneapolis in the house. How you doing, man? Thanks for joining in, man. Man, did you have to deal with black gangs in prison? Okay. Um, salute, salute. Sharon, how you doing, Sharon? Thanks for joining in. Thanks for joining in. You know what? Like I told you, in, in, in prison, gangs, uh, not really. Uh-uh. I bought your book, finishing four days. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. You know what? Like, hey, give a review, man. Leave an honest review. Say the email again. Brian. It should be in my description box. Brian. B-R-I-A-N. Gibbs. G-I-B-B-S. 1201 at yahoo.com. You know what? Like I said, yeah, shout out, man. Shout out to um, Prince Marky D from East New York. May his soul rest in peace and his spirit be lifted, man. Hey, like I told you right now, you uh, you need a signed copy, man. Listen, man, email me, man. Order your signed copy, man. Email me. It's in the description box. You know, hey, great book, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? Even right now, like I try to go deep, and I, you know, like when people are doing a story or people telling a story, you know what? Tell everything. Tell the good. Tell the bad. Tell the ugly. You know what I'm saying, did you know Jackie Rowe? Yes, I know Jackie Rowe. Um, so. This is, a big, this is Big Dice from Utica Avenue. I'm owning your book this week. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, man. Everybody's on here. Everybody on here. You are a living legend to the max. You know what? Like I told you, man, I was a living fool, man. Like I said, I was lost. I got caught up into that street life. You know, right now, when you out there, guess what? Yes, my coworker from East New York. All right, David Johnson. Hey, when you out there in that street, you know what? When you're young, what you trying to get fly for? You know what? Me, I was trying to get fly for the honeys. I was trying to get fly for the cuties, man. You know, with the British walkers, um, with the playboys, with the gabardines, with the lee suit, with the quarterfields. You know, you want to get down. I would just, I would just black knowledge, my little man, drag, um, pitch to prove who am I was locked up with. Okay, facts, facts, facts. 
Um, like you say, most of the girls, they get out there, they want to get fly for the guys. But yet and still, we get caught up into the wrong thing. We got to start learning how to invest, invest into the future. You know what? Have emergency stash, man. Have emergency stash. Set, it's just in case something go wrong. There's no defense for the element surprise. We don't know when, like, something deep going to happen. We don't know when a tragedy is going to happen. But the difference is right now is it's best to be prepared than un unprepared. Like right now, how many people invest into a life insurance? Do you have a life insurance policy in yourself? Do you have life insurance policy in your kid? Do you have life insurance policy in your wife? Huh? Just in case. In my case, we was fallen guys. Always oh, fallen guys like you. Uh, in my case, we was fallen guys like you. I, I, I'm lost about that one, man. I salute to you, brother. Hearing your story inspired me. You know what I'm saying? Low key, I saw your change and I made... You know what? Like I told you, man, I had another choice, man. Like, you know, even right now, like, you know, it's a lot of things that I did that I'm not proud of. Uh, for choice, a better word, testimony. Okay, can you speak on Eric Tweedy in a knuckle game? Um, Like I said right now, I didn't know Eric Tweedy, but yeah, I heard, like you know what I'm saying, the 52 block, like, you know, you hear that. That's like an old story from being a kid on Rikers Island. That's like an old, old story, you know what I'm saying, period. And when you hear about him, how nice he was, you know what I'm saying, with the 52 block and all that, yeah. Now nah, we look up to guys like you. And, and, and you know what? And there's nothing wrong with it. I had a bunch of people, like, you know, I had a crew, Eminem. I had these brothers following me all for the wrong reason. So now it's time to how do you change it all the way around? I took you to do things and learn to be a better person. That's what make it great to learn to teach us. Okay, rest in paradise. Mad Max, man, Mad Max. Yeah, rest in paradise, man. Mad Max, man. George, man. George is a good guy, man. Love George. George is a smart dude. We ain't had a choice either, OG. We had choice, man. I don't even want to use that as a cop-out. We always had choice, man. We can choose to go left or we choose to go right. We always had choice, man. Um, sup, Glaze. You remember El Rancho, the bodega? Yeah, <laughs> Fountain and Bo yeah, Fountain and Hegeman. Wow, man. Across the street from Cypress, man. Glaze, do you feel about, okay, um, but bow, we know your story of change. Yeah, like I tell you right now, man, because change, man, change. If you could work. Will you be a politician? You know what, man? It's hard, man. It's hard with that politician stuff. Because like you say, you see a lot of, you know, Haitian Jack say Alvy Square Mall was dangerous. How true is that? Yeah, Alvy Square Mall was very dangerous, man. I got chased out of Alvy Square Mall, man. It's very dangerous. Dumont Avenue. Okay, one master key. How you doing? Strata Jacket. Yeah, Strata Jacket's Playboy Bailey. You're right, man. How about Mother Dare? Oh, yeah, Mother Dare was, you know what? But by the time I met Mother Dare um, in Fishkill, Back in like 83, Mother Dear was old, man. You know, so all that story and everything they used to do back then, he just was on some cool guy stuff. Do you know Lou Harvey? I knew Lou Harvey. Lou Harvey just came home, hopefully doing well, man. William Petaway, peace, man. Hey, love what you're doing, man. Like I said right now, y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the content, man. Check out the latest content, man. It's out there, man. It's out there for a reason, man. Share it, man. Get these kids to understand that crime doesn't pay, man. Get them to understand to stop picking that brick and throw it at the prison wall for absolutely nothing, man. That's what life is all about, man. Glaze, you got to get back on your documentary flow, man. I do, man. My baby mother is all, also Mert Abgar, little brother from Pink House. I'm Chase. What's up, man? Did Hollywood play basketball? Not that I know. New Haven, Connecticut in the house. How you doing, man? I remember when Tweety got killed. Rest in paradise. Yeah, I remember that too, man. Um, What's good? You remember Little Boo Brown from Brownsville. Little Boo Brown. I knew Boo Brown from East New York. Cypress. A natural gift for reverence, okay? Hey, but listen. How many people got life insurance policy? Okay. How Preem and Curtis Beef started. From my understanding, over Ja Rule. From my understanding, is over Ja Rule. Um, how many people got life insurance policy on themselves? Is Bug Out still around? Oh, man, I don't know, man. Um, last time I heard Bug Out was in Detroit somewhere, you know? Hey, listen, if you got life insurance policy, you need life insurance policy on you, um, your kids, your wife. You know, if people don't understand that, man. Like I said right now, is nah, I don't have life insurance. Why don't you have life insurance policy? Here it is right now. You sell life insurance? Good, hey, good job. We put life insurance, we put insurance on phone. On your cell phone, you got insurance. On your car, you got insurance. You know, Guy Tony name. Hmm, Guy Tony. That's my man. That's my little brother, man. But I'm saying, you put life insurance on the wrong, you put insurance on the wrong thing. But the difference is right now, everybody should have an insurance policy, man. 
I heard you. It's worth it for the family future. Yeah, man. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Start investing. Everything needs to be insured. You're right, man. The difference is we can afford, if we can insure our bootleg cell phone, why can't we insure our kids? Why can't we insure ourselves? There are many type of insurance. You're right, man. It all depends upon how deep you get into it. That's the difference, man. It all depends upon how deep you get into it. The difference is right now, you know, like I say right now, you don't want to die and leave your wife and family paying for a house, you know, um, like struggling. Got to sell the house. Nah, man, be prepared for that unexpected, man. Be prepared for the future, man. We we don't know when it's going to happen. Life's going to happen to each and every one of us. The day that we are born is the day that we start dying. I got a picture with Tank and Rick Martin from a video shoot I did at Cypress Project. All right, you know. Um, I think long-term, you should stop the short-term thing. Yeah, you're right. Knowledge is insurance. You're right. Uh, Glade, they tried to ice me and take my jump away. Seven legs. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Facts. Hey, but what I'm trying to say right now is getting to Bitcoin, getting to real estate, getting anything. Life insurance is just never talk about in my family anyway. You know what? Like I say, but that's the difference. With these type of platforms, you want to talk about everything, man. You want to get people to, you know, even right now, start saving. Start investing. Start being prepared for the future. Make sure that you got A1 credit. What was behind Pig getting killed? I wasn't around. I don't even know, man. I'm glad you heard of a lot B from Harlem. No, I did not, David Johnson. You know, probably by another name or whatever. You know, I love your white hat. Mm, love your white hat. What white hat are you talking about? Oh, man, that's a, that's a lampshade, man. My white hat. Wow. Yeah, you got jokes, man. We had the chance about the, uh, the hood with that crazy. Yeah, we did, man. But nobody took advantage of that, man. Nobody took advantage of that, man. Um, Glaze, what about the success of the Jews from the day? Like, hey, look, like I told you, they know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? They know what they're doing, man. They teaching. Oh, man, where you been at? Kelly, where you been? I seen like you just disappeared. Chris Moses, what's up, man? Talk a little bit about Christopher Brother, man. Um, Like I say, Chris was a good dude, man. Chris was a good... Christopher Brother, you know what I'm saying? Wood. Hollywood was a good guy, man. And just like I said right now, he's out there doing his thing. And to me, you know, what what, what, what gets you upset is this, man. Like, you know, um, sometimes we lose sight. And we get caught up into the BS. And even right now, you know, I'm talking about days before Wood, you know what I'm saying, got murdered. Like, we had a big beef. And I went off on him because he's talking trash about me. And to me, like right now, when I caught up with him and I just swung on him. And keep in mind, man, Wood is like six foot three. Like I say, cock strong dude. Like with muscle in his teeth. He could have squashed me. You know, he could have squashed me. You was part of the problem. Now you're part of the solution. I got hit seven times. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry about that, man. But you're right. I want to be part of the solution. I am part of the solution. Because once again, based upon my life experience, any TV or streaming service deal in the work with you. You know what? Like I told you, we had, before the coronavirus, we were supposed to start shooting my series back in last April. And right now I got something else that I'm in talk about. But, you know, time will tell. You ever coming down south, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what part? Where at down south? I be down south. Where at, man? What part are you talking about down south, Mike Wallace? You know? Hey, listen, like I told you right now, man, hit that like button, subscribe. Hey, um, check me out, man. Check out all the latest content I drop, man. I got plenty of stuff that's out there, man. Share it with people. Record company want artists to die, to recoup. Man, Mr. Giz, when you realized that you was going broke, what did you do with your... Last $20,000, man. You know what? Like I tell you, when I went broke, I went broke at one time when my mother died. You know what I'm saying? Period. When my mother died, guess what happened? You know, I, I, you know, here it is. Nobody knew what happened to my money. So it was, you didn't get to your last 20000 You lost everything. I heard Haitian Jack was crying me, but Pac say too much. Uh, you know, I don't know, man. Man, would love to see a movie on your life. I would love to. The city down south. Who did you listen to back then? As far as what music wise, Kumo D, LL um, Kumo D, um, Run DMC, uh, let me see, Curtis Blow, the Fat Boys. They do a series of you. They can't just do a normal bike. They need your voice in it. Hey, listen, man, it's all in the work, man. It's all in the work. It's all in the work. Um, did you read the book, The Bill? No, I did not read the book, The Bill. I did not read the book, The Bill. Mike G and the Sixth Floor. What's going on? Houdini, yeah, Houdini, I like Houdini. One love, one love. I was on the island in the 80s. Do you remember the Dirty Ones? I remember that name, but yeah, I remember the Dirty I, I remember that name. I remember hearing that name. 
what you know about Pac? I don't know nothing about Pac, man. I don't know nothing about Pac. But only thing I know about Pac is what everybody else know or what they see on TV or whatever, the rap video, man. Listen, invest into the um, life insurance game, man. Get your Bitcoins. Um, build for the future, man. Build for the future, man. Hey, listen, get your signed copy of the Brian Glaze Gibbs book by emailing me, Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com. Um, Glaze, how, how can a person get you for speak engagement? On um, right now, email me, Brian Gibbs, 1201 at yahoo.com. Biggie's dope, man. Biggie's dope. Hey, um, what do you think about 50 Cent rapper speaking on alleged guilt regarding the squads? Hey, Tut didn't have nothing to do with that, man. Tut didn't have nothing to do with that at all. Did you know Willie? Oh, wow. I was going to do a piece on that one next. That's wow, Kelly. I, like I said right now, is look, I was going to do a piece on that, you know? You know, another book coming. Man, doing books and stuff is a very tedious process. What I want to do, man, I want to do another book on audiobook. Um, I don't know what this is going to call, like, you know what I'm saying, Brian Glaze gives straight from Street Volume 3, or just call it the round table. Speak about Pappy, Cat, um, Prince, Preem, Bug Out, myself. Please do. Kelly, wow, man. I, I got to take my time because that's a deep piece, man. That's a deep piece. The Willy Bostic piece is a deep piece. Are oh, you retired from work? Nah, man, not retired yet, man. You know, not retired yet. You know, hopefully soon, man. Not retired yet, man. Hopefully soon. One on Monk. One, hey, one on Monk was good people, man. One on Monk was the real deal, man. You know, all we believe, all we believe, you more than 50 tie cent, huh? What that mean? Did you keep any old jury? Nah. You know, when you go, you can't take enough from you. LL Cool J, Kumo D, who won? Mmm. L, man, but Cool was a bad boy, man. Wild Wild West. Like I said, Wild Wild West. Come on, man. Did you run into. Biggie back in the days. Biggie was a kid when I was, you know, when I was doing what I was doing. Do you know anything about the creator of real life? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Um, when I was in there, Fat Cat was in HDM and Prince came through later. I was in there with E Money, um, Murder. Wow. Okay. See, look, man, it's a small world. Lady, did you ever hang out in the Bronx? So so where? Um, you know, I used to have family over there, like 153rd and Gerard over there by the old Yankee Stadium, man. Yeah. So. Peace, man. Air Perk is peace. East New York for life, man. Hey, thank y'all for joining me. Hit that like button. You should do a piece on Dead On Row here on the Mo from Pink. Yeah, Dead On Row, man. My mom was in love with Kumo D. How you like me now, man? Damn, ho, y'all come too fast. I say, see something about Notion Avenue. Peace, man. Do you know Thurston Howard? Now, I didn't know none of those guys. Um, what was the box across? Did you know Boo Bear? No, I did not know Boo Bear. I did not know Boo Bear. Hey, listen, man. Do a video on I got what I got you talking about, man? Huh? What I got you talking about? Hey, listen, y'all. Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for joining. Did you know Chicky from the Sun Fox? No. Do you recommend Big A? Got, hey, yeah, I like that. You should watch it. You should watch it, man. You should watch it. You know? Hey, listen. Thank y'all for joining in. Hey, good night. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. Subscribe. Okay. What you think uh Big L, Big L, Eminem crew? I'm lost with that one, man. I'm lost with that. Hey, y'all guys have a good one. Good night, man.